Hi, I am Revant. This is part 5 of a web services video series. In this session, we will understand WSDL in web service. Important synopsis we will understand in this video are What does WSDL means? Is it important to know as a developer? How it is useful while consuming web service? So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched part 2, part 3 and part 4 of this video series, I recommend to watch before proceeding this video. WSDL in web service. What does WSDL means? WSDL means web service description language. It describes the behavior of the web service. As a developer, it is important to know what the service is meant for while consuming in client application. By consuming or by calling the web service URL with the extension WSDL, we can note the behavior of the service as a service description. For example, the URL followed by the query string with the WSDL, we can know the behavior of the service. Let's we look in action how this can work. In previous videos, this project is created. Let's right click on the sample web service dot asmx file view in browser. This is the web service. Let's give the extension for this URL has query string followed by WSDL, which takes to the web service description language page. So this is the web service description page. Let's clearly understand what does this web service description language is meant for web service. For time being, I have already collapsed these links. Let's understand step by step. Here WSDL types describes what methods are exposed to the client. For the request method, if there is any parameters like integer, string or any other data type, it describes here what input does it uh, access and the response data type also described in these types. Let's take a look into it. And this is the method, hello world method, which takes two input parameters first name has the data type string and last name has the data type string and the response is hello world response data type is string there is one more method we have created as calculator which takes three input parameters first value has integer second value has integer and the operation has string and the response we get in the form of string has the data type and there there is one more method division which takes a has integer b has integer and gives the division response in the form of web service response in part 3 of this video series i have discussed uh, how to create this class for uh, error handling and return a string for instead of throwing any exceptions from the web service for now understand what does uh, this wsdl describes Web service response uh, will be in the form of result has a string and uh, error message has a string. These are the two output parameters has a response. Now WSDL message for all these methods describes uh, soap in and soap out. Uh, has a hello world and the hello world response calculator calculator response division for division division response and these are the different 1.1 and 1.20 versions which describes this service By WSDL we can know what methods has request and response is exposed to the web service. WSDL is often used in 
combination with soap and xml schema to provide web services over the internet web service can read the wstl file to determine what operations are available on the server any special data types used or embedded in the wstl file in the form of xml schema the client can then use soap to actually call one of the operations listed in the wstl file using for example xml over http thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you